I put a post out the other day, what annoys you most that you see regularly in the gym? It got hundreds of comments and one of the biggest things that jumped out, people get annoyed when they see people on their phone in the gym. This does not annoy me. In fact, I hold my hands up. I'm one of those people that is on their phone in the gym. Now, what has someone on their phone in the gym got to do with you and your workout? If you wanna use that piece of equipment, why don't you just ask them if you can use that piece of equipment? I'm sure they've got one set left, or if they're just daydreaming, scrolling through Facebook like they might be, they might then do their next set, and then they're done. Now, someone said they're on there from the start and the finish of their workout. Well, did you need that piece of equipment? Did someone else need that piece of equipment? Were they actually in the way? Are they dangerous? Plus, how do you know they're not on one of the most important messaging services of their life? Are they not texting their wife? Are they not texting their husband, their child, their grandmum, their mum, their dad, whatever it is? Are they on a very important message? Are they getting ready for a call? And what if their head isn't 100% in their workout? What if they've come to the gym because they've got so much stuff going on at home that you know they actually just want to get away from something for half an hour, for 45 minutes to an hour to just get away? What if their goal is not to get shredded, not to get jacked up, not to go and run a marathon, two marathons, an Ironman? What if their goal is to simply get away? Now, what has them been on their phone got to do with you? It's already a scary enough place as it is to go in the gym when you've got no experience of actually being in that gym, when you don't know many people, just to know that people are going to be judging you, judging you for being on your phone. Maybe you're actually looking at workout form. Maybe you're actually looking at a coach as workout that's been designed specifically for you and been delivered to your phone. Next time you're in the gym, next time you are in the gym and you see someone on their phone, Maybe we shouldn't judge them. Maybe we should ask a little bit deeper of ourselves and actually ask, why are they on their phone? Is there anything I can do to potentially help? Don't just go over and offer your help. Just nod if they make eye contact and just say, look, if there's anything I can do to help, I'm here. Do you need a spot? Do you need to do anything like this? Ask if you need to, if that opportunity arises. But judging people, going on social media, someone that's always very, very aware of themselves, very, very self-confident, what does that actually do for their chances of hitting their goals if every time they go to the gym they're being judged left, right and centre by someone that probably hasn't got their form on point anyway and probably has said they're going to do a goal and haven't committed to it and probably needs help themselves. Have a think about that one before you judge people.